We got to quit worshiping the athletes. They're not worthy of worship. None of us are. I'm not worthy of worship. None of us down here on earth are. It, there's one person worthy of worship. Put him on a pedestal or call him her, whatever, the most high, whatever you believe in. Put that on the pedestal. LeBron James and these delusional, pampered, spoiled, irresponsible athletes clap when they dunk, clap when they score a touchdown, get their autographs, go to their parties, all of that, hang out with them, but don't worship them. Don't mistake them as some sort of social justice leaders. They're not even willing to do the minimal research to get any type of information, to even know what the hell they're talking about or to know what they should be fighting. We shouldn't be fighting $60,000 a year policemen. They're not the problem. The creators, the architects of the criminal justice system and the prison industrial compl complex, the politicians that LeBron James is fighting so desperately for you to elect, they're the actual problem. They created the system. But LeBron James is spending millions of dollars to make sure you register to vote. Get out and vote. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, they're going to save us. They put together the crime bills. They locked up people all over California. They're going to save us. There are people dying in Kenosha. And LeBron James, with his 40-some-odd million Twitter followers and 40-some-odd million Instagram followers, is inspiring the unrest that is damaging the lives of innocent Americans. It's inappropriate, it's wrong, it's irresponsible. It's, it, it makes me wonder, whose side is he on? Who is he trying to benefit? This is the hostility that we're turning up against the police and generalizing about them has real consequences for the black people that live in those communities where the police are afraid to police. The black on black murder rate escalates in those cities. There will be more black deaths because of the behaviors we're seeing and the hostility being stirred by professional athletes. Stop it, play your role, man. I'm talking to all the athletes. I'm talking to Doc Rivers and all of them. I'm Michael Malone, the coach of the Denver Nuggets. The Detroit Lions skipped practice yesterday over Jacob Blake. The Detroit Lions, where 250 to 300 black men get murdered every year in Detroit, most of those murders go unsolved. Go unsolved. No perpetrators get convicted for those crimes. The same complaint we have about Breonna Taylor and, oh, my God, they didn't charge the police or they got off. All of that goes on in Detroit and most of these major cities. The clearance rate on these murders is not very high because and everybody sits, hops out their cell phone. Oh, police are engaging with somebody. Let me pop out my cell phone and record this action. But let a gangster disciple, a crip, a blood, come through the neighborhood shooting folks and see if anybody whips out their phone to try to record it and put it on social media and tell on those guys. Doesn't happen. People don't get convicted, generally, when a three-, four-year-old child is innocently slaughtered by a stray bullet. Kamala and Joe, they gonna save us. Get the f*** out of here.